ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, your eyes do not deceive you. I have another Nightmare on Elm Street franchise, Nightmare on Elm Street commentary track. Um, it's Katie Does Commentary. I'm KD. And welcome back. I'm so excited. I don't know when I'm going to be able to record again, but I'm going to try and do record two of them today. I will say the process of making these things, of recording it whilst watching, and then you have to, I have to do, th- I have to like export the track. I have to put the track in like a, you know, into iMovie, etc., etc., make that into a movie file and then obviously upload it. It takes a while. So, um, oftentimes if you see me upload, it may be like later in the day. It's because the whole entire process takes like hours and hours and hours. That's why sometimes, um, I don't really do multiples in the day. It is hard. Um, but I do enjoy doing it. It's just the process of like, you know, doing everything is hard. What's not hard is, um, or it's not really hard. Just, it just takes a long time. What, what's not, you know, hard or difficult, but enjoyable is recording them. Um, that's the best part. Everything else is just kind of just putting crap together. And then the whole thing of taking it, of the whole thing, blah, blah, I can't speak right now. Oh gosh, but the whole thing of it taking the time to just waiting for it to render and to export and then to upload takes forever, but I love recording them. So yeah, my plan is to do two today. I'm not going to upload both of them, but yeah, I figured we would continue with the Nightmare on Elm Street movies. I'm for sure going to be doing number five after this, but right now we're doing the Dream Master, which is probably my second favorite um, sequel. I enjoy this, and um, it's great knowing that a franchise, even after they take away a beloved heroine like Nancy Thompson, you know, a final girl like Nancy Thompson, who is, like, really well-liked, they can give you another girl, which is um, Lisa Wilcox's uh, character, Alice, and she's very likable, too. I would love to see, you know, Nancy and Alice together. They're just, you know, um, they're great characters. I have seen this movie. Um, It's good. And I think it's, if I'm not mistaken, like the highest grossing of the entire franchise. Like it just made a lot of money. I'm going to hit play in three, two, one. Make sure I have audio. Do I? Okay, I do. It just didn't kick in yet. Um, what's noticeable is if you're just getting into these, oh, the quote, like what they did in the last one, too. Um, if you're just watching these movies for the first time, you'll notice that Kristen is played by a different actress. She's played by Tuesday Night. And... Their takes, you know, Patricia Arquette and Tuesday Night's takes on the character are rather different. But then again, I don't really know if that's like, because it's so obvious this is a different actress. I don't know. She's also singing the the song you're listening to right now, Tuesday Night. Oh, yeah, that's right. Alphabetical. Mm-hmm. How dirty was not Aren't they? Isn't the girl drawing this on the sidewalk? She had to like. She had to sweep away a lot of dirt just to get started. It it's uh, reminiscent of the beginning of the of Dream Warriors, where she's building the house. 
Now it's a more, it's a different craft, you guys. It's chalk. I miss, I miss the days of sidewalk chalk, don't you? I like, we'll see sidewalk chalk and I'm like, should I buy some chalk and just draw a sign? <laughs> my backyard and then I remind myself um I go KD you are in your 20s <laughs> but you know but then again you know uh, coloring books are cool amongst adults there's like Game of Thrones coloring book there's a coloring book for everything now Nobody lives in that chalk house either. Duh. Kidding. <laughs> I like that she sees a little, like that Kristen sees a little girl in this dream too. Like, Nyeh! creepy little blonde girl. Screaming Mad George. That's a, is that your given name? It's a name I gave to myself. Dun, 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 dun. Hey, get in. They're in, like, their Sunday best in the rain. <laughs> Get inside. You know that if you're, if you're a kid and you're playing in the rain, you would, you would not be doing jump rope and tossing a ball back and forth. You'd be running around like, ah, it's raining. I'm just saying. I feel like they gave her that line, you know, like talking to yourself and she says her name <laughs> partially to like be like, this is Kristen now, audience. Because <laughs> people will be like all confused, like, oh, is this a new character? And then she goes, be calm, Kristen. Oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> There's no way that made that. There was knives. Dang. I think this is Rennie Harlan's first movie, by the way, that he directed. It's his first, if it's not his first ever, it's like his first American one, I think. He's originally, I can't remember where he's originally from. He's from some other country. Ah, the boiler room. Ah, that hook. Now I'm thinking of Hellraiser, which is another one I want to do a commentary track on. Hellraiser 1, Hellraiser 2. Those are good. The other ones look kind of e. Aw. Whoa. So did he wake up or? <laughs> I'll touch you. <laughs> so he's cured of his mutism, I guess. Just like that. He's right. That means he's just moving on to another location. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like that one scene. What is it? What is that one movie? Can you clean the oven? <laughs> Ooh. 
How did how did the dog get in there? Jason. His name is Jason, which is kind of funny because like that's a different slasher. Ooh, girl! Oh my gosh! What did I get all over my bed? Oh, it's from the dang Sour Patch Kids. <laughs> Don't mind me. She's like, whoa. It is music commence. Now it's time to meet more characters. Someone's a hoopster. Kristen, you kind of parked close to the plants. They need room to grow, Kristen. What the heck, Kristen? <laughs> oh, this guy. <laughs> well, you don't got to be like that. <laughs> Just like that. Don't be so rude, Dad. <laughs> it just... Well, you didn't do a good job. Like, has all, avoid all contact, and then he goes, <laughs> lands a smooch on him. Or lays a smoo smooch on him. I think that's, like, a wig that she's wearing. It's, like, such a... Look at that truck! Major League Hack. <laughs> Just the way she says it is kind of like weird though. Oh. He'll enter your daydreams. <laughs> Could you imagine? Even daydreams like Freddy Krueger just enters. He hits a baseball. And he, like, hits Dan with the, the baseball bat. <laughs> oh. She's precious. She's sweet, too. I was going to say, I'm like, you can get, like, lung, like, you can maybe get, like, shortness as a breath, but, like, you, that gas doesn't give you asthma. It just doesn't help your asthma. <laughs> that guy's like in his, like, 30. You, I agree. Give a bug a break. Why did her, her chip not crunch it like smeared that was the weirdest thing ever ah. gosh you guys are creepy hi guys hey guys reminds me of Cartman hey guys or hi guys one of them Well, she can't help if she go has a nightmare. You know what I mean? They're drinking. They're dreaming about those. That that nurse from that one time.
<laughs> That's really cool. Don't foreshadow like that, Rick. Alice, I do relate to. I feel like I relate to her more than Nancy. Not that I don't like, you know, like Nancy. I just relate to... to I just relate to Alice more. Because, I, you know, you could relate to just being shy, quiet, nervous, living in your own head. I was shy with my own family members when I was little. Karate! Karate! No, I'm joking. She's doing the dishes. He just said hi. I know the dad has like depression and that's why he, and he drinks and everything, but still. She didn't say nothing. She did not say nothing. My man. You're an adult, cook for your damn self. Smack, you know, Jay. <laughs> zinger. I mean, not zinger. I'll tell you about my daydream. <laughs> I'll show it to you. When sports collide, baseball darts. Like Jason. Jason's cool. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, and this one's called, and there's like a. <laughs> He's in a car. Um, this one was called number number four is called the MTV one. It's kind of more of like a the fun. It's still horror. It's just like, it's. <laughs> I love Kincaid. Dig. Dig up your bones. I have to say, the way he Freddy's resurrected is pretty lame. It's so weird. Like, who thought of this? Like, oh, what? Like, you, you buried him and gave him, like, a Christian burial? Well, guess what? Jason is a powerful dog. <laughs> Dang, Jason. Whoa. Like, really? <laughs> Being fire. Okay. Why does Jason hate Kincaid? I mean, Jason probably rescued him from, like, the shelter. And he repays him with this? Or was Jason possessed? Like, I don't... I'm trying to think. Dude, isn't there... Oh, yeah. I think I might have sang this in the last one. 
But there's a song called, I think, Dig Up Her Bones um, by the Misfits. And I think I literally sang, I was thinking the same song in the last one. Oh, that's disgusting, but so cool. Oh, like how did they do that? That's a lot of gelatin and stuff. Whoa. I said I'd be back. <laughs> oh, now he's scared? Well, Jason. But Jason, you totally, you did this. And now you're just like, oh, never mind. I shouldn't have. I don't get you, Jason. Ho. Oh. And he's set on fire again. Oh. Oh, can't forget the hat. Run. I never understand why in horror movies they like, oh, and Chrissy has to fall. Um, why they have to stare at it. It's like in the time that you, that he was being reborn or like, you know, brought back to life, you could have been like miles, not miles, but like, Oh, sure. Was that a guitar? I, I could just... No, it's probably like a bumper. I was like, is that a guitar? Wishful thinking, I guess. My man. Smush. Now run. That's not going to work. It's never that simple. Oh, that car is breathing fire. Whoa. I have to admit, this is pretty cool. The cars, they're alive. Herbie. Herbie, don't turn on us now. Thought you were supposed to be a love bug. Ooh. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> it's a planet. Why didn't you run? He wasn't there a couple seconds ago. I'll see you in hell. <laughs> Jason, how dare you? What is she drinking? Diet Coke? Now I'm curious. What is she drinking? Because apparently it's very important to me. She likes U2. Mm, never got into U2. And she smokes cigarettes. Did, did she smoke cigarettes in the first movie? I don't think she did. I don't think she smoked cigarettes in the third People do that and it like relaxes them. Sweet dreams. <laughs> it's interesting how they brought back two characters and they, no, three, and then they just decide to like kill them off like in the first act or like in their first like however many minutes. Some music and some Rolling Stone. Is that Tom Hanks on the front? Hold on. I could see, like, a piece, and I think that's Tom Hanks. Is it? He's like, whoa! Oh, 
Oh, God. <laughs> oh. Have you guys ever been in a waterbed? It's like the weirdest thing. My aunt had a waterbed. I don't know if she still does have it, but... She's like, bye. Oh. <laughs> What's interesting is, um, you know, as the movies go along, uh, he becomes, Freddy becomes more funny. But what I like is that I like, um, I don't mind a funny Freddy, but he can't be completely funny, like, all the time. You know what I mean? Like, I, I like that he, like, messes with the kids, and they're just like, and he has those, like, great one-liners. Um, but yeah, when he becomes completely funny, you're just kind of like, mm, and then it stops being a horror, and uh, she's the mother of fishes. Oh, I like that she has fishes. She takes care of people and also fishes. It's a good character note that she has a pet or pets. And notice that she, oh my gosh, that's right. She covers up um, the mirror with pictures. I don't really look in the mirror very often either. Because I don't care. Same, girl, same. Smash the, that, that bowl on the table. So is he basically saying, kick our dad to the throat? <laughs> Balance. Karate kid. <laughs> that is cute. Like their relationship is cute. Oh gosh, could you imagine? But like, how did you get in there? What do you got against television? Oh! Wouldn't you wonder, like, how did he get in there? <laughs> magic trick. I'd be like, um, I guess magic trick gone wrong. Was Joey into magic tricks? Um... Not that I know of, but I, I guess. <laughs> that doesn't rhyme. <laughs> oh my gosh, girl, me. <laughs> All I have are the friends inside my head. <laughs> Me. <laughs> Maybe they're just sick at the same time. Whoa there. I know I say whoa there a lot. I'm sorry. It's just that's my thing, I guess. <laughs> Robert England and drag. Love it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 
he kind of reminds me of um, Robin Williams in a way. You step on. <laughs> Ooh. Whoa. I want to draw some blood. Why did the 80s have such like large glasses? Like, I know people have large glasses now, but it's kind of like the 80s, I feel like, was where it was started. He's got a dirt bike. It's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, the diner. I act like I haven't seen this movie. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like it's... She gets to drink some soda. They brought that Pepsi logo back, by the way. They like the one that you could see on the side of the. She's like, oh, I know who you are, my love. <laughs> Don't cock block me. <laughs> Sorry. I had to. No shoes and no shirt. Wait, no shirt, no service. Oh gosh, didn't um Brooke Thais and um, mm. and Heather Langkamp do that show together. Hold on. I know this. It's just like, I can't like, I, I just, mm. what's the word? Um, was it her or some other girl? It was, it was Heather Langenkamp. and, um, someone else who was in the nightmare. I think it was Brooke Thice. Hold on. Hold on. Yes, I was right. Brooke Thais. I hope I'm saying that right. It's hard to, um, what's the word? It's hard to find that series. It's like literally nearly impossible. Why are you following, Dan? <laughs> it's his home. <laughs> I've never realized that line or really thought about it. Not just his house. It's his home. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> she says, but mm, who knows? Oh, because before. Oh, yes. Yes, the legend is back. 
<laughs> yes! <laughs> when it's when it when it seemed like she possibly died the first time, but she's okay. I don't know the rules of the dream world. I do not. I'm not really a hundred percent certain on. <clears throat> <laughs> Whoa, a piece of modern art. <laughs> the leaves and the dirt are also a part of the, of the piece. Just so you know. Just so everybody knows. I want that truck now. On delay. Oh my gosh, my hero is here. I'm gonna give you a lot of drugs so you'll fall asleep. <laughs> I'm just joking. Just killed me. And therapy. Two jumping jacks. Is that a Garfield cartoon? Whoa! That's the that's the joy of watching things multiple times. You're like, Garfield? Big fan. <laughs> this is cool. I like this. I like this use of like the overhead and she's like I'm gonna call the dream police. Help. 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 I didn't want to want him. It worked. <laughs> It'd be funny if she was like, I didn't want this bathing suit, this kind of bathing suit. She'd be like, I wanted a yellow one. Hi, little girl that follows me. Get your own dream. That's my friend's name. <laughs> I just think of ways to make like things funnier. Like, the girl could be like, you have friends? Oh my gosh, the Finn. <laughs> she doesn't hear the music, either? <laughs> hey! Whoa! That little girl was a freak had a bomb in her sandcastle. I think that disqualifies disqualifies you from a sandcastle contest. <laughs> oh yeah, there you go. No, this franchise is is obsessed with um sinking people or like having their feet be caught in like goo or some substance. I want those shades, fresh to death. Well, fresh in death, because he is dead. Kind of, I guess. Immortal? I don't know. Hey, Tina was on the ceiling. You get down from there. We already did that. This is cool, though. <laughs> it's 
I thought there was green and red lights. Uh oh. Whoa. Breaking through walls now. She's all wet. How dare you? How sweet. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> That's actually kind of gross. Come to bed. Whoa. To a whoa, they brought that back too. Ugh. Dang. Greetings from hell. <laughs> that is kind of funny. And now it's left with you. Good use of the mirror there. No. Even though I just saw her die. Let's see if we just make sure. <laughs> I'm joking. Run! I like the house is pretty cool. Oh, but what was weird was Kincaid didn't bleed. Kincaid didn't bleed um, when he died in real life, but she has actual fire. So I don't know what the rules are. I don't know if anybody knows what the rules are. Aw, they're all buried next to each other. Sixty-nine. Hmm. That's too soon to watch videos. Trying to feel better, damn it. Is that a piece of music in a frame? Did someone like compose a concerto? Hello, baby. How else would she, I mean, she set her, you think she set herself on fire? Like, I could smell the burning flesh. But they're talking crazy. Ricky. Have her soul in me. <laughs> Creepy. Well, 
What they never, it's like, did the souls eventually leave her? Like, she gets their power, but she has, like, a piece of them in there. Oh, physics. That's my nightmare. Physics class? Oh, my gosh. I was lied to. I took chemistry, right? And I did really, I did pretty well because I had a good, you know, lab partner that like, knew what she was doing. Um, and for me, I, I do well in science only if I work at it. And like physics, they were like, oh, well, typically if you get, you'll get like the same grade in physics that you got in chem. And that was a lie. Physics is a different ball game. She's like, mm, sorry. Oh, the 80s clothing, y'all. This is what, like, late 80s? It's like 88, I think. They started production on the next one, like, really quickly. If I remember correctly. Exam today. Is it one question that you have to like? I don't remember this. Learning is fun with Freddy. That's a lot of ink, Freddy. He should join calligraphy. That's pretty impressive, Fred. She's using that fountain pen. Ooh. I got red sea red. Ew, why would you smear it? Oh. Why would you try to s smear it with your Honey, you can you can stand up. You could still get out of that desk unless your feet were like stuck to the floor. Her name was Sheila, right? What was her name? Ooh. Make make me something out of the apple. Oh, he's... What talent you have. Did they all have to take physics? Because, like, in my school, you didn't have to. I was just given the wrong impression. Oh! Yeah, the tongue can- ugh. Wanna suck face? Ew! Whoa! Oh! Wake up! She can't! I like her sweater. It's this was her zapper for the bugs. Aww. Oh, that's so sad.
Hmm. And now I'm gonna go insane. I would. I don't know about you. Yeah. We're all dying now. That's actually a real, um, diner, but it's not called that. It's not called Craven. Ha ha ha. Is it one of those 24-hour diners? Because that would suck. Well, not suck, but, like, it would suck to work weird hours. Excuse me. To keep myself busy. Hmm. Drink a lot of Pepsi and a lot of coffee. <laughs> Drink all the coffees. Juicy fruit. This was her, wait, this was Lisa Wilcox's second movie. Wow. Not bad. Not a bad start. Danny. Now I feel like we're in the 50s. Gonna be late for the driving. Yeah, people dying in different ways. Hmm. Did, was, now my, uh, my question is, was Rick on a school, like, Team? I don't think he did. He play? Did he play baseball with Dan? I can't remember. Or do they just have um? Oh, this is uh, Bob Shea. He produces like all of the. Uh, he produces all of the uh, nightmare films. Isn't that called um? What's it called when you can like touch things and like you? I don't know. Like there's like, oh, there's a word for it. Like, you can touch things and do things. It's called, like, oh, it's, like, lucid dreaming. Is that woman? I thought she was going to vomit, but I think she was yawning. <laughs> he 
He fallen asleep on the party. Occupado. Whoa. Whoa. Pervs. <laughs> what the hell? Make me laugh. <laughs> Whoa. She isn't. I think she's supposed to look burned, but she just looks like she's got mud on her. The killer elevator. It would have been funnier if it was like a killer toilet. That is an interesting elevator, though. It's pretty cool. He wasn't like, it's like, I like how he was like taught or trying to learn all this karate and then they're just like, okay, just punch at the air. That's not karate. <laughs> and he even talked about that. He's like, yeah, like, they, you know, that's was supposed to be like a learning karate, but they just were like, oh, you're just going to punch at the air because you cannot see where he is. Those chucks, though. How would he know where he is? Yes. That random, this is a glove randomly showed up. Oh, it's like, did she see it? Like, it, she was dreaming, but I don't think they have, she didn't see it. If I remember correctly, I don't think she saw it. I, I don't know. Cause she, they wouldn't, they show her in there. Damn. Only Rick got a, a funeral scene. <laughs> what? <laughs> Looking fresh to death. Was she asleep at the funeral? Peace. At least they spiked his hair. That's what Rick would have wanted, you know? Dan, you looking fine. <laughs> A night stalker. 
but Rick died in the daytime when the sun was up. Oh, yeah. They're like, she's acting weird. She's she's acting like 1,500 different people. <laughs> she's acting different. Yeah. She's... Dan's a smart one. Now she's a master at karate and all things nunchucks. It's so obvious when they do a shot, you'll see it. You can tell it's not her. Like, that's not her. The wig is like brown. It's brown. Like, you couldn't afford, like, a wig of the same color. No, you're not. I'm going to keep you here until, like, forever. <laughs> hmm. Now inside it, now inside the house is going to be even worse because you're going to drink more. Even more because they already lost the mom before any of this happened and then they lost the son. So it's like, Dan, I like your truck and I like your face. <laughs> it's cold, Dan. Go inside, get some pizza, like what that neon sign says. Tunes. Gosh, do you guys remember boom boxes? Do you remember boom boxes with CD players? That was like, God, when, I, I don't know about you, but like when I received like a, you know, boom box, that was like, you know, and I would play like CDs, that was like the greatest thing. I'm acting like I'm so old, like, ugh, you guys don't understand, but I'm not, like, I, you know, I knew it was like when you didn't have like, when I was... Growing up was when the iPod and like the, you know, the MP3s were like come, becoming like, like, there was becoming digital. Like, iPods were coming out, and I think the first iPod I had was a the Nano. So, like, I knew what those big ones looked like, but I had the, the, the skinny Nano one, whatever that was. I had the Shuffle as well. I didn't really like the Shuffle because you couldn't scroll. They didn't have a screen. You just had to kind of... 
you could either shuffle the music in the library or you could play it in alphabetical order. Um, according to artist Hairspray. You guys see that? They're playing Hairspray? I've never seen that, so they had a poster for Hairspray. They obviously would be playing the 1970-whatever movie version because they didn't remake the movie version of the play the musical until 2008. That, I saw that in the theater. Pepsi. Now I want a Pepsi. Do I? What movie is this? She's like, oh my gosh. Hey, I played good, paid good money for that. And everyone knows that at the movie theater, you pay like five bucks more for drinks and, and your candy and your snacks and everything. All the other people were like, this movie sucks. <laughs> I prefer Shrek 4D. At least the Gus actually take me. <laughs> if you guys don't know what Shrek 4D is, it's a thing at Universal Studios where you watch a clip and it's um, with Shrek characters and they, the whole thing, they call it 4D because it's in 3D so like things look like they're jumping out at you but also there's like, you know, wind and I think smell maybe. You know, maybe your seats move a bit. I don't know. But that's what they mean by, like, 40. Whoa. rough looking don't touch it you don't know where it's it's so dirty that's one way to uh clean your knives more efficient what can I get you <laughs> they haven't changed their uniforms in like you recognize yourself? Uh, I didn't order that. Like, uh. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh. Me. <laughs> Meatball on top of my pizza. I don't think I've ever had meat uh, meatballs on my pizza. Bring me more souls. Yet I won't take you for whatever reason. Well, he so he won't take her, but he'll take everybody else. Oh, probably because he needs her to take everybody else in. You went to sleep with your shoes on? <laughs> How does she keep her nails looking okay? Impressive. What are your secrets, Deb? 
That's Debbie, right? Oh, this is this this is a pretty cool sequence. Do -do 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 -do. I like the music too. Yeah, the track. Oh. When your worst fear is dying while you're working out. <laughs> Whoa. I'm driving your truck, damn it. So I get, but I believe in you. <laughs> it's a good song. I believe in you and me. It's by the Riverdales. Calls a uh, yeah. I believe in you and me. Oh, uh, this part I can't stand. Ah. No gain. Uh, this is like probably the grossest death. Ah. Uh. But people love it though too. But it, it just ah. You could tell like there's silicone though too. Ah! Oh, this part is gross. Yeah, beautiful. When you want it to be a butterfly, not a cockroach. Oh my gosh. This is not what was advertised. <laughs> I wanted to be a butterfly. So I guess you can affect them when they're awake. Cause she's not she's not to sleep. It's just I wish I wish I knew what the rules were with the frickin' dream world crap. You guys are all sweaty, too. A bit sweaty. Ah. This is gross. This is grody. Her boots, though. That's the greatest trav travesty. Those boots are going to get destroyed. Ah. Ah. Oh, oh, creative but gross. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner at the Craven. What you craving at the Craven? <laughs> Sorry. How are you both asleep? Oh, gosh. Ew. Ugh. Oh. I've collected her. <laughs> She's inside me. Well, that was lucky. Oh. Boom. Except, yeah, that truck was beautiful. Oh, and the bike, everything. <sighs> That's the real loss here. <laughs>
approximately. I feel like I've seen this actor, the paramedic guy, before. Where have I seen him? Why would you put someone asleep? I know I'm not a medical professional, but that just... It, well, they could give you, like, a muscle relaxer, but, uh... Or something for pain, but I don't think they'd put you asleep. If you are a medical professional, please comment down below. Ooh, that's a lot, boo. That's a lot of blood. I do like her jacket. I must say, like the jacket. Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> Eighty eight miles per hour. <laughs> it's a different 80s movie. Sorry. I have a guy just like, touches his head like, look at your head. Ooh. Get all my... I was put under via whatever they put when they stick it in your arm. Some sleeping pills. Dang, do these teenagers in the 80s just got sleeping pills laying around? I think we need to have a discussion. There you go. Pop your collar. That's what I'm saying. Whoa, holster there. Locked and loaded with my zapper. <laughs> doctor, doctor, please. <laughs> Dr. Seuss, the legend. It goes Kristen's mom and then Dr. Seuss. And legendary status. <laughs> Whoa. Enters through a mirror. I'm sorry. I'm Didn't it? Welcome to the Tunnel of Love. 
Oh gosh. Oh. Oh. He's waking up. Well, yeah. It's like, no, you should have let me die. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Hey, children's choir's practice is on Saturday and Sunday. Get <laughs> Okay. We would have gotten the reference even if he didn't say that. We would have said like, "Oh my God, like is the water lag and the dreamland." No, 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 no. Sorry, no, I'm being crazy. What's up with all those noises, Freddy? You getting old there? <laughs> Laugh, <Left. laughs> laughing through the pain like. <laughs> This is like with life. Ah, ha, ha. Dang. Notice that a lot of, uh, th there's a lot of close-ups of her face, probably because she's not actually doing a lot of that stuff. Just a little trick with filmmaking, which is so amazing. They got their souls. Do the crane! Crane kick! That first thing, it sounded like a punch, but it like it looked like she backhanded him. Backhanded him. But the sound didn't really fit. If that makes any sense, I don't know. Maybe I'm just being nitpicky, I don't know. Guys, don't fight in a church, that's messed up. <laughs> Whoa, language. This is a holy place ish. It kind of looks a bit. I mean, it's seen better days. Look at that face, just determination. Oh, that's right. <laughs> nice. That's really bad effects though right there. That doesn't hold up very well. But in the remake in 2010, they had CGI that was terrible too. And we had CG we've had CGI for quite some time. But at least in the 80s, they kind of had more of an excuse because, you know, technology not as advanced. But 2010, you had no freaking excuse. That looked like garbage when Freddy was in the walls. A lot of about that was garbage, but, you know, it was garbage and had no excuse to be garbage. Other than just poor effects. Whoa. I'm pretty evil. Whoa. 
So if I look in the mirror, I would die. I wouldn't die. I'm joking. I'm not. I'm not evil. That's a womb of a lot of children. Let the souls be free. Oh, this. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Ew. Peace. I like that the veins are like yarn. <laughs> They're like string. That's intense. I almost forgot about this. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, yeah, that's right. You just wonder, like, who thought that was a good idea. <laughs> like, okay, now we're going to get um, some extras to, and they're going to be like, you want us to do what? I want to break free, I want to break free, she's a come to me, <laughs> aww, what no thank you, I mean I don't need like a pie or anything, I mean I wouldn't or not a pie, but I would like a thank you, <laughs> just goodbye. <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> there you go. Props, props to Alice. Welcome to Jurassic Park. No, I'm joking. I just think of like the part where the door is open. <laughs> Welcome to Jurassic Park. Bravo. Good job. The fountain that is still there. <laughs> uh oh, spaghetti -os. Sleep. It won't come true. That's the thing. It's like they got to think of ways to kill the, the, you know, the killer. But they... Um, they always have them come back because there has to be another movie. I think this was the only one that had... Wait, Linnea Quigley showed up? Soul from Freddy's Chest. Interesting. Linnea Quigley's done other stuff. Um, other, like, horror movies. She's also in Savage Streets, by the way. So it's just the, um... The credits. And that's it. And then it goes to black with more credits. It's a good, it's a good, it's a good sequel. Um, 
I like episode. I feel like four is probably like my second favorite. Um, some people don't really like um, number five, which is the last one that features Alice. But there's also apparently like I've seen pieces of a really cool um, comic, um, a graphic novel that has. It continues Alice's story after episode five, episode five, part five, whatever. And I like, I the thing about the fifth one, I like it until it gets to, I think I like it just fine until it gets to the ending. And it's funny because a lot of people like will trash episode number five because um, it, it, they, num- they trash it, but then like it ends up in like the best kills, like all of them appear on the list like I, I'm talking about like if you it doesn't matter really like what if you go on YouTube it doesn't matter what list like it, nearly all if not all of you know the dream child's you know kills will show up episode four is you know number four is is good it's funny and it's fun but it's also like still horror um, and I like, I like Lisa Wilcox. I like Alice. I like her. I think, you know, the fact that I like her arc, you know, uh, it's just, it's sweet that, you know, the shy girl that's not really all that confident, you know, has to like be the hero. I like that. Um, and like I said, like, I like this, well, I like this whole entire movie. And then like, like I said, number five, which we're going to, I'm going to do a commentary jack for that one too. Um, I like it until probably the ending. Like, the way it ends is kind of like, mm, really? Like, I like I like that movie, but the end, I like it up until that certain point. Because you're kind of like, really? That's how it... That's how it's... That's how they kill him, and that's what happens. It's kind of strange, but it's still good. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, have a good day. Bye-bye.